Hi everyone, we are back with a brand new interactive story. This one is called Camp Dragon. As always, everything has been illustrated and created by GoGo -Go Speech. This activity will take us into the woods where we will join our dragon friend for a fun-filled camping adventure. You and your kids will have so much fun as you help the dragon unpack his bag, set up camp, and roast some yummy food to feed his appetite. We all know that a camping trip would not be complete without s'mores, and you'll see that there will be plenty of marshmallows for him to share with us all. You can work on a wide range of skills such as formulating sentences, inferencing and predicting, story retail, social pragmatic skills, prepositions, answering WH questions, core words and early language skills, requesting and describing, speech sounds, and more. You can pick some repetitive phrases and verbal routines to use throughout that include target sounds and language goals to get lots of trials in. So I'm just going to quickly go through and show you what it looks like and provide you with some ideas on how you can use it in your sessions. For this story, we're going to start out with our magic doors and you can see if your kids can guess what the activity might be about based on the objects on the doors. Open. Wow, we're in the forest. And you can go ahead and describe the scene. There's lots of dirt, trees, mountains, lots of stars in the sky. I don't see anyone here though. I think we're all alone. You see something, a dragon. I hope he's not near me. I hope he's a nice dragon. You can get really silly with your kids. Oh, it's in the sky. Hi, I see him. He looks like a nice dragon. He's flying. So there's lots of words and lots of sentences you can make to target your goals just on this scene. I really encourage you to use lots of language throughout this activity. Spread it out over multiple sessions. No need to rush through because there's lots of language you can use throughout each of these scenes. He's getting closer. It looks like he's wearing something. Hmm. Now he's flying up higher. Uh-oh. I wonder where he went. So you can try to figure out where the dragon may have gone. I wonder if he's going to come back. He did have a backpack on. Hmm. I wonder what kind of stuff was in it. Oh, there he is. Whoa, he's really close to us. Hi, dragon. I see the backpack. Hmm. An arrow, it's pointing to the backpack. So you use sounds or language that targets your kids' goals here. And you're gonna be prompting them to say these things along the way, encouraging them by modeling things or using closed sentence techniques. Lift it up or open the backpack. Go, lift it. Now we have to reach in. So if you're using this in person or using it through screen share or any way other than using it as a virtual background, then you can just pretend to reach in or you can tap the spot and pretend to pull the item up. You can point to it or just use words to reveal the item from the backpack. And if you are using green screen, then you can use some extra green material to hold up and reach behind, or you can put some green material behind the back of your chair and reach behind your chair. Or what I have set up right now is just a little whiteboard with some green material draped over it. And I just set it next to me and it's just leaning against my chair and resting against the table on the other side of it. And it's just there so I can pretend to reach into the backpack. And all I'm doing is reaching behind the whiteboard. Let's See what's in there, reach in. And if you're familiar with some of our other activities like Chomp and Chipmunk, it's going to be a similar type of sequence, reaching into a basket or reaching into a bag to pick up these items. Reach in, pull up. Oh, what is it? Hmm. So you can describe what you see and try to figure out what it is. I see some string and some poles and some kind of material. Hmm. And you can try to guess what it is. Whoa, the dragon set up the tent. These must be stakes to hold the tent down. Whenever there's an arrow, that means that it's time for you to reach into the backpack again. Find something else. Grab it. Pull out. <gasps> Whoa! It's rolled up. Is it a blanket or a sleeping bag? And for each of these items, you can tell the dragon to grab it or bring it into the tent. Or you can push it over to the dragon. Here you go, dragon. And the dragon will put it into the tent. He's pushing it in with his mouth. So there's another arrow, but make sure you address what the dragon's doing first before reaching in again. Reach in. What else is in there? Hmm. You can have your kids ask you if you feel anything in there, and you can start describing the items that you know are going to be pulled out next and see if they can guess. You can pretend it's really hard to pull it out or it's stuck and have the kids tell you to pull it harder or yank it out. So there's lots of language you can use here. Pull it out. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. And talk about each of these things that you just pulled out. We have a compass, a walkie talkie, or a radio, a watch. And then you can talk about all of the reasons why you might need each of these things on a camping trip. Here you go, dragon. He's throwing it in the tent. Another arrow, let's pull the next thing out. Stick my hand in there and pull it up. Whoa, a flashlight 
and a lantern. Why might we need these on a camping trip? Put them in the tent, dragon. Wow, it's nice and bright in the tent now. Another arrow. There's more stuff in that backpack. Keep it a lot in there, huh? Reach in, pull it up. What? That looks like a big basket. The dragon looks pretty interested. I think we need to pull it out so we can see what's inside. This one looks really heavy. We have to be really strong for this one. Get your muscles out. Grab the handle. Pull it up. Oh, oh, I can't do it. And you can ask your kids to help you by pretending to pull it up too from wherever they are, even if you're virtual. <laughs> We got it for you. Look at the dragon. I'm really excited. Why would the dragon be licking his lips? Maybe he thinks there's something tasty in there. Let's open it up and see. Open. Okay, he's definitely really excited. Reach in. See what's in the basket. Pull it up. What do you think that is? Hmm, maybe those are hot dogs. And it looks like the dragon wants us to put it on the stick. Okay, grab the hot dogs. Put it on the stick. Now, I don't think we cooked these hot dogs yet. We probably should cook it before he eats it, huh? Do you know where we could find some fire around here? Hmm. The dragon can breathe fire. Wow, that is so cool. If you want, you can have your kids tell the dragon, I think it's done, or I think it's finished. It's done cooking, or let's check to see if it's done. Wow, I think it's cooked. Burn marks around the edges. Go ahead, eat the hot dogs. Here you go. He's eating the hot dogs. I think he likes it. Wait a second. There might be more food in that basket. We better check. Reach in. Pull it out. A pineapple. Do you think he's going to take a bite into it? Or is there something he might need to do first? He's cutting it up. You can have your kids tell him to cut some slices. Chop it up. Chop, 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 as they say it, if they're working on that sound. We did it. Now we have to put it on the stick. On the stick. I wonder if he's getting ready to breathe fire and cook the pineapple. Hmm. I usually don't cook my pineapple when I eat it. So you can tell the dragon to cook it or blow the fire. It's cooking. And again, you can ask the dragon if we should check to see if it's done or tell him if you think it's finished cooking. Whoa, he definitely cooked that pineapple. He's getting ready to take a bite. Go ahead, dragon. Here you go. Yummy. You can tell him to chew it good. Mm, he really likes this food and he's excited for more. I guess he's still hungry. Reach in, pull it out. Oh, like a big steak. We're definitely going to have to cook this one. Do you think the dragon is excited about the steak? He's licking his lips. Put it on the stick. Cook this one good. The steak is cooking. You can say it's sizzling. Don't touch. It's too hot. I think it's all done, dragon. That looks so good. If you want, you can have your kids say it might be too hot to eat. You might even have the kids pretend to blow on it to cool it off. I think it's cooled down now. Here you go, dragon. That one might be chewy. Make sure you chew that. Reach in, pull it out. Corn on the cob, stick it on. And then we have the dragon breathe the fire and cook the corn. See if it's ready. That corn is definitely cooked. Here you go, dragon. Swallow it. Reach in again, pull it up. Marshmallows. I always bring marshmallows when I go camping. Good thing he brought some. Let's put some on the stick. Grab the marshmallows, put them on. Oh no, when I tried to grab some marshmallows, a whole bunch more came out of the basket. There are so many marshmallows. The dragon looks really happy about that. He must really, really like marshmallows. What are we going to do with all of those? He's doing something. He has his radio or his walkie talkie. Hmm, what do you think he's doing with it? I wonder who he'd be calling. Maybe we'll find out. A dragon over my head? Whoa! So now all of the dragon friends are going to fly into the scene and they're each going to be bringing something to the campsite. So as they fly in, you can try to figure out what they're holding on their backs. I see some rocks. Hmm. A circle. Another dragon. A log. I wonder what that's for. They're making a campfire. They're getting it all set up. I guess all our friends are here. Oh, another dragon. Yellow. A bull on this dragon's back. Graham crackers. Yummy. So here you can talk about what you might need graham crackers for. And if they guess that they're for s'mores, then you can try to figure out what the last thing you need for a s'more is. Oh. It looks like the purple dragon has the chocolate. Look at all that chocolate. I think we have everything we need now. What? Dragon feet above my head? The orange dragon. Whoa. Come down, dragon. This one brought some sticks. I wonder if the sticks are so we can roast the marshmallows and we can help the orange dragon give everyone a stick. Here's the sticks. Now we see the arrow is pointing to the campfire. Hmm, there's no fire in there. How are we going to light the fire? And you can have your kids say, give us some fire. They open their mouth, they're getting ready. And you can have your kids say, ready, 
set, go. Whoa, look at all that fire. Do you think it's going to work? They did it. Now it looks like everyone needs something on their stick. Grab the marshmallows, put them on the sticks. Wow. Do you think the marshmallows are close enough to the fire? Let's tell them to stick it in the fire or put it closer. There we go. Now keep an eye on those marshmallows and let me know when they start to cook a little bit because we don't want to cook them too much. And you can do something here to wait as they cook. Whoa, they're blowing up. They're getting bigger. I bet they're really soft and gooey inside. Quick, let's tell them, get them out. Everyone has their marshmallows and they look so yummy. I wonder what they want to do with these marshmallows. They're going to make s'mores. So this is going to be a sequence making s'mores and you're going to grab the items that are here in the middle of the screen and you're going to put them in the dragon's hand. Grab the graham cracker, give it to the dragon, take the chocolate, throw it to the dragon, get the marshmallow, put on. Oh, my hand is sticky now. I'm going to have to wash my hands after. Grab the graham cracker, put it on the top. That looks so yummy. Everyone has all the pieces for their s'more. Do you think they're ready to eat? Okay, let's tell them. Go ahead. You can eat it. They open their mouths. You can have your kids count down for them to eat it, or your kids can say, chomp. Yummy. They all finished their s'mores. I think they really liked those s'mores. Man, I wish we could have had one. <gasps> What? They're giving us stuff to make a s'more. Look at that. And they're all helping to hand over these bowls. Now let's see if we can remember how to make this s'more. What did we need first? So you're going to go through the same sequence. You're going to put it on the plate and you're going to build your s'more marshmallow. And then we're going to need a graham cracker on top. Put it on. Oh, that looks so yummy. They're so excited. They get to watch us eat it. You can tell the child that you're both going to pretend you have a big s'more and you're both going to pretend to chomp into it. And again, you can have the child count down. Ready, set, go. Mm. And you can talk about what you think it might taste like if you were really taking a bite of this s'more. All right, one more bite. Mm. Oh, where did everyone go? That's pretty weird. Should we check by the fire? Let's go look. Hmm. I wonder where they went. Oh. Whoa, I guess it got really late. It's really dark out and the moon is out. I think all the dragons went to bed. It looks like they're all sleeping in the tents. You can talk about all the different colored tents that are here. They must have been so tired from all the fun they had camping and probably from eating all that yummy food. So now you can say good night dragons, sleep tight or sweet dreams. And that's the end of the story. If you're signed up as a GoGo member, you will also get access to some different printable PDFs that go along with this activity. These printable PDFs can be used in person or emailed over to the parents to be used at home during your virtual sessions. So GoGo -Go members will get a s'more printable activity, which includes all of the parts to make a s'more so you can have your kids follow your directions to layer the items and glue them together to build a big s'more. And then they will get to color a dragon with their favorite colors. Maybe they want to copy the colors of one of the dragons from the story, or maybe they want to create their own color combination. And finally, they can attach the s'more to it with some glue to complete their picture. GoGo -Go members will also get a Feed the Dragon PDF download, which you can use to cut a hole in its mouth and feed the dragon all of the food items that he eats in the story. And this includes printable images of all of those food items. If you want, you can write target words or attach picture cards to the back of the food items for specific target practice. You can hide them around the room and have your kids find them to feed them to the dragon. Or maybe you just want to feed the dragon the item when he eats it in the story. So that's Camp Dragon. I hope you all have so much fun and are enjoying your start to the school year. Make sure you're following GoGo -Go Speech on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our latest releases. I'll see you all next time. Bye!